The American Museum of Natural History was recently transformed with a massive new complex for science and education. The Gilder Center's dramatic design was created by one of the world's leading architects. Tanya Babich from our sister station ABC7 in Chicago sat down exclusively with the woman behind the project. It's really a chance to um, make science and nature more accessible to everyone. The Richard Gilder Center for Science, Education and Innovation is the latest addition to the American Museum of Natural History. The 230,000 square foot space looks like a series of caves carved from bedrock, igniting a sense of wonder and exploration for visitors. We really wanted to make it feel like a, almost like a landscape that you can see the places where you want to go and go there and offer lots of opportunities and make it very generous and public space that people can just be in, hang out in. The woman behind this modern marvel? What was intentional about it? Jeannie Gang, one of the world's leading architects, internationally renowned for her design process. We thought that, you know, these landscapes, like the landscapes in the West or in this country or lots of um, um, geologic landscapes offer those kind of feeling of you want to explore it. Among her many accolades, the St. Regis Chicago, the tallest building in the world designed by a female architect. But here on the Upper West Side of Manhattan, a very different kind of structural feat. The whole floor underneath it is the loading dock for the entire building, so we could only land our structure on a few points. The atrium, designed to resemble a canyon, was constructed using shotcrete, a technique mostly used for infrastructure like bridges or tunnels. The method, creating complex curves, eliminating the need for external formwork. All the rebar, which is the steel inside the concrete, it was formed, um, and then the um, craftspeople, contractors, blew, shot the cr concrete into those rebar forms, and we also didn't add any finishes afterwards, so that really is the structure that you see when you go in there.